Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Hey, 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 hey. You're watching Lizard Guru. Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's so great to have you guys. I also wanted to welcome all of my brand new subscribers and anyone who's randomly coming across this video. It's really great to have you guys. So for today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over kind of a weird topic. Some might say it's gross, but it's a very, very important topic. And that is healthy versus unhealthy bearded dragon poo. So let's get to it. So when it comes to bearded dragon poo and other lizard poo too, like your mastics have very similar poo, it is important to monitor this because this can be the first indication of a problem. And bearded dragons, along with a lot of other lizards, are really, really good at hiding a problem until it is too late and you have to act on it right in that moment. And if you are ever concerned about your bearded dragon's poo, it is best to go ahead and get a fecal sample. So when it comes to monitoring bearded dragon poo and some other lizard poo, there are three things to look for. Color, consistency, and smell. So number one, when it comes to color, what they eat, of course, will generally affect the color. For example, if they're eating a lot of greens, the poo is probably going to be a dark green. The colors that you want to watch out for are the red poos or the dark orangish poos. And especially if that color is around the urate, you really, really, really want to get that checked out. It can mean they are either dehydrated or they have something internal going on. So you really want to go get that checked out. And be mindful, if you're feeding things like prickly pear or butternut squash a lot, Hot, then that can also affect the poo. Prickly pear, it usually turns it pinkish red with butternut squash. If you're feeding that, it usually turns it orangish. So really don't be too concerned if you see that and that's what you're feeding. And when it comes to the urate, which is the white part, that's actually technically the pee, you want your urate to be white. It should not be yellow, brown, red, or it should not be orange. A healthy urate is a white urate. Number two is consistency. For this one, you want a solid poo. You don't want one that is super mushy or has no consistency. You don't want rock hard poo. If that urate is rock hard or chalky, that means that they are really dehydrated and you need to give them more hydration in their diet. Poos that are super, super runny or have absolutely no consistency need to be checked out for parasites. You need to get a fecal exam done right away. Now, if you have a firm poo with a little bit of a puddle around it, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly normal. It just means they're very hydrated. So don't worry about that. Now, there's another type of poo that should raise high concerning flags. This is the poo that is nothing but liquid but has fecal matter in it. If this is happening then there's a good chance that there are renal issues and you need to get them seen right away. And if you have poo that is undigested, the two common culprits for this are what you're feeding and the temps not being raped. If this is the case, if you're feeding mealworms, superworms, stop feeding those because they're not digesting them properly and also raise the temps because they probably are not right or the basking spot is unhealthy high enough, something is not right in there. And if you change all of these things and they're still having that issue, you need to get them checked out because it might be something internal going on. And then that brings us to our final one, number three, the smell. Now, of course, no poo smells like flowers, but there is a difference between healthy poo smell and parasite poo smell. Trust me, it is unmistakable. Parasite poo smell is the type of smell that will stink bomb the whole entire house and linger even after you've cleaned it up. If that is happening, you need to get them checked out. The last thing you want to watch for is how much they're pooing. Now, if they're pooing every single day, don't worry about it as long as it looks normal. If they're pooing twice a week, don't worry about it. That's normal for some dragons. It depends on what you're feeding, how often you're feeding it, and what the temps are like. Now, if they're not pooing every single week or they haven't pooed for a couple weeks, that is an issue. They might be impacted and you should do what I have listed up in this impaction video up here. I will also link it in the description because sometimes these don't pop up for people. I hope that has helped you. Be sure to like this video, share this
this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and also turn on the notification bell for this channel and for my second channel, Alex's Random Entertainment, to get all of our video updates. So with that being said, thanks so much for watching, and from my family to yours, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Mwah!